Hey y'all. Okay, today we are going to be doing a video on a product that I got in the mail a week or so back and I had like the biggest epic fail when I first tried this product a few days ago. And I want to give it another go for you guys. It is the Moxie Lash Magnetic Eyeliner and lash kit. So here's the deal with this. I was in a rush the other day when I first tried to apply these. The lashes were super long for me. When you first get this kit, it's $75 on Moxie Lashes website. It comes with the lashes and they're very straight. Like, I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna try to hold them where you can see. They're very straight. They don't have any kind of like a natural curve to them like traditional lashes do. And they were really long on my eyes. So I went ahead and trimmed them down today. Those little sections right there are what I cut off in hopes this would go better. <laughs> because the magnetic eyeliner, you apply this first, it goes on fine. It's like a traditional black liner, but it's got magnetic particles so that these little guys will stick to your, you know, to your eyes. Um, you don't have to mess with eyelash glue, worrying for like sitting around waiting for all that mess to dry or anything. You're supposed to be able to put this on, let it dry for 30 seconds or so, and then do your lashes. Um, a little less messy than glue. Well, anyway, when I first applied these the other day, because the lashes were so straight and too long for me, it was like, Oh my goodness, what in the crap is going on? It looked like I had like just a stick across my eye. They would not, for the life of me, conform to my natural eye shape. Like no matter what I did, no matter how much liner I put on, these guys would just not conform to my eye shape. Maybe it was because they were too long and I hadn't trimmed them yet. I don't really know. I DM'd Moxie Lash on Instagram they did get back to me. They said, well, if they're not adhering properly, you're not letting the liner dry long enough. Okay, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. Like, I let it dry for a minute or so. How long you gotta wait, you know? But um, I'm gonna try these again today now that I have trimmed them and see if we can actually get them to stick to my eyes and if they are, in fact, worth the $75. Because $75, that's a pretty good chunk of change for one pair of lashes, a brush, and some during eyeliner, you know what I mean? <laughs> like I could get a whole lot of falsies by Ardell, my favorites are the Wispies for that. Yeah, you're doing the glue or whatever, but I don't know if I am buying into the hype of this magnetic liner yet. We're gonna check, I'm gonna get the liner on off camera and then we will be back to apply. Okay, so I have the eyeliner on my eyes now, you guys. Um, I put it on pretty thick compared to what I normally would, but I wanted to give these guys the best possible chance <laughs> of sticking. Um, so we're going to see how this goes. I let the liner dry for about four minutes now off camera. So I think that should be enough. Like it comes with this little information card right here and it doesn't give a specific amount of time that you should wait for the liner to dry. But I think four minutes is more than enough, like way more than enough. So let's see how this goes. Going to grab a lash. I am going to apply this right to my lash line like I would traditional lashes. What in the world? It's still not sticking. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go out of the house like this, let me tell ya. I would be setting some new trends, girlfriend. Oh yeah, oh yeah. People would be looking at me like I was crazy. <sighs> it's still not sticking, what in the heck? Like, did I get a bad batch of this liner, I wonder? I wonder if this is just like a bad batch. Why is it not sticking if it's supposed to be magnetic? I don't freaking get it. What is the deal with this product? I've got this little lash tool from Ardell. I'm gonna try to like just press it down into place. Nope, now this side's popping up. It's like one side I'll stick and then once you get it on there, the other side will just like pop up. I don't get it. This is so frustrating. Like at this point in time, I could have just had my regular falsies on with the glue and had no problem. Like, <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's like I have a daddy long legs on my freaking eye. <laughs> ah, frustrating. Okay, I'm just gonna try the other eye just for giggles. Just for giggles, let's see. And you, you can't even feel these like sticking, like they're not even, they have no, like the magnets aren't that strong. There we go, once again. 
Who are these things made for? Like, are these for people who have like straight eyelids? I don't understand. They, they have no, no bend to them whatsoever and no give. So you can get that side on. No, no, it's popping up still. And then this thing just goes like sky high. It's reaching for the stars. Where's it going? It's wanting to go into space. I don't understand. Ugh. You know what? Uh-uh. I, I'm done. I'm so done with this. Like, I got things to do, y'all. I got places to go and people to see. I do not have time to be fiddling around with no dadgum products that don't work. This is just stupid. Nope. You get one side on, but because they have no natural curve to the lashes, they just pop right back up. Like, I'm so done with this, yeah. These are an epic fail. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna be straight up. The Moxie Lash Kit is a fail for me. You guys, this little kit is $75. You get the lashes, you get a brush, and then you get the magnetic eyeliner. $75, I could go down to Walgreens and get a whole heck of a lot of Ardell Wispy Lashes traditional falsies with the glue for $75 that actually work and stay on my eyes all day long. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put those on right now. Like I have a pair right here of my regular lashes and quite a few of you guys have wanted to, you know, just see how I apply my falsies. So we're gonna do that since these Moxie Lash get a big, negative <laughs> from me. I don't get why they don't have any bend to the lashes and they, they just will not stick to my eyes. So they get a fail from me. I am going to put on my regular lashes. And you guys will see like how freaking quick this is compared to that magnetic, <laughs> that magnetic mess. So I always use the glue from um, Kiss. It's the aloe adhesive. I mean, seriously, I want to know if you have tried those Moxie Lash and they have worked for you, like, please drop me a comment in the comment section and let me know if I am doing something wrong, like if I'm just not doing something correctly <laughs> because that did not work for me at all. And I have to say, I'm a little bit disappointed for $75 to not be able to use that. Like, y'all gonna give me a refund, Moxie Lash? Can I send this stuff back? Because girl it ain't working <laughs> it ain't working at all so i'm just gonna put on my traditional i always use the wispy lashes from ardell normally yeah you gotta wait for the glue to dry a minute but it's a lot less frustrating than sitting there and fiddling around with that other mess that does not want to work so as you can see i just kind of drop these down we'll put them on right over that magnetic liner Press these into place. The glue actually works. Wow, that's a novel idea. Boom. Boom. Done. <laughs> I was like two seconds. I was literally two seconds instead of like fooling around with those magnetic lashes. And I mean, here's the thing, you guys. I think the magnetic eyeliner is a super good idea. So what I might do is I might go down to... Um, the drugstore and actually see if I can find some magnetic lashes, maybe from like Ardell or something, or if you know of another brand that makes, um, you know, magnetic lashes, feel free to drop that down in the comments or let me know. And I'll see if maybe a different pair of lashes would work for me with the liner. Cause the liner is fine, you know? I mean, I think the liner is fine. I think it's the shape of those lashes because they have absolutely no natural curve to them. Um, that they're popping up off my eye like that. Like that's the only thing that I can think of. Or the magnetic particles are really crappy and just not strong enough <laughs> to hold them in place. I don't know. But anyway, once I get this little beauty on, then we'll be out the door. And honestly, you guys, glue is not that messy. Once you get the trick of applying falsies, like glue is actually not that big of a pain in the butt. You see how fast I can get these on compared to how much I was fiddling around with that magnetic lash. Like that was just absolutely ridiculous. I was sitting there fiddling around with that thing going, why aren't you working? Why are you doing this to me? And traditional lashes, yeah, you got that little bit of glue on there. And some people say that the glue irritates their eyes, which I do understand that. But it's just, it's not near as, um, it's not near as frustrating as what those magnetic ones were. I'll tell you that, girlfriend. <laughs> and yeah, I am ready to go now. Lashes are on. 
Sorry, Moxie Lash, it is a pass from me. Like I said, if you guys know something I don't know about getting this junk to work, <laughs> then please let me know. I gotta go, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.